my channel. Today we'll be making some um, snippet bow tassels. So I am going to be using Jennifer's Cozy Cashmere bows here. Let's see, I think it goes this way. And I've printed these off onto fabric sheets. And I'll be using four different bows. So I've already made one here. So I have made a little tassel to go with this cozy cashmere journal that I'm making. So here's the first tassel that I made. So you can see the, the cute little snippets. So here's one bow and here's another bow right behind it. And then one right here and then one right here. So here is the back, and here's all the lace dangles I put on here. Isn't that just so cute? And then I put appliques to kind of lift up each bow to kind of give it that, that feminine pretty look. So I thought that was super cute. And I put a tie on the back, so what I did was use this ribbon here in a cream color and I think it is an eighth of an inch so it's real small I need to get some more and I tied it this way and then I put in more of this ribbon behind that I'll show you how to do that in just a minute um, and then it's gonna tie to the project so it'll tie like this onto the project. So it's out of fabric. You could do this with paper as well. So let's have some fun. I hope that you all are doing well today. Happy Monday. I hope everybody has a beautiful week and um, many blessings to each and every one of you. Um, so then I just put um, this in into the center there. So, so much fun. So let's make a bigger one and I'll show you the project. I'm working on um, a couple of things. I'm working on the Cozy Cashmere Journal and it'll be so much fun. So I'm so excited to show you. But, okay, so you can either cut this out on paper or cut or print it out on fabric and I did the fabric sheets. I will leave a link down below to the fabric sheets that I used for this one and I cut out both of the long ones here so it's just like the short one but the bigger one that was over here and I cut out this one so and then this one which was from the bonus sheet so I cut out one of these and they came out a little grayish color, so I inked them up with my Vintage Photo ink. So I will do that with uh, this one as well. See the brown that I've already done? And I love the natural curl of this fabric. It's so cute. So we're going to layer this one. So I want to go ahead and ink up this one with y'all first. So you want to get real good in, on the edges here. You want to make it look vintage, cozy. So we're going to do the edges first. And keep the backing on when you're inking, inking up your edges. It's just much easier because it's real soft. It's 100% cotton. So I love the way it, it frays on the edges. So it's so pretty. And then we want to go ahead and go ahead and ink the front. Actually, I'm going to use this right here. Oops. To kind of give it that vintage look and it soaks and dries right into the fabric it's so nice and then you want to 
take the backing off because we're going to ink the back side too so it looks you know vintage on the back side too now you could save this because it's not sticky and uh, use it for another project and I love the natural curl in in this fabric I think it's so pretty and then we want to do the back side too and like I said you could do this with paper the same thing with paper <clears throat> excuse me I have a frog in my throat today I think it's the change in the air you know it's trying to <clears throat> cool off so it's kind of crackly and I bet we all get like that each season okay there we go all right so I'm going to put a doily on the back of this one and before I do that let's make sure that is right side up so that is up so before I do that let's go ahead and cut some some laces to use for the tassel so I have this one I'm wondering if that's going to be too big for it maybe I should cut it All right, so I cut two pieces of lace. So we're going to take our glue and make sure that the lace There we go. I'm going to go ahead and glue some lace on the back of the bow first before I put that down. I would like to make this one a little bit fuller than my last one. And you can use fabric tack, craft glue. I like using both. It's raining here today. How's how's y'all's weather? Is it cooling starting to cool off or I was thinking about putting some of this. This is my mom's lace. Uh, this is her fringe trim. It has a little bit of specks of gold in it. It would be perfect. So, thinking about maybe I should fold it in half. Or more like this. And glue that on there. That would be so pretty. Okay, so I glued on this tassel on the back of this, and this is lace that Jennifer hand dyed, tea dyed, so I would like to cut up some of this, but I will also leave a link down below where uh, you can get Jennifer's Cozy Cashmere Digital. It is so pretty. Let me see. I don't think we need to cut all that, so let's... Maybe put that there. So this is a bigger bow. It's going to be tied onto the, the purse on the handle. And the snippet leaves that we made I'm going to use those in the actual journal. What beautiful lace. I scare myself with <laughs> scissors sometimes. <laughs> okay, now before we keep going, well, no, that's fine. It's going to say we need to tie the ribbon in. 
but let's glue these on first. So let's put one on each side here. I need some more glue. So pretty, so much fun. All right, while well, that's drying a little bit, I would like to add my ribbon through here. So, um, well, let's add these on there first because we're going to tie everything on. That'll be so pretty. So, before we glue this on, I'm going to add some pearls. I like using doilies on the back of things to put um, pearls through the holes. So it's not permanent. I'm thinking all these beautiful tea dyed laces are gorgeous. I'd like to add a little bit of that to the front. And I have some appliques here. These appliques worked perfect with my other one. So I got this applique. This one's Jennifer. She tea dyed this one. It's gorgeous. And then um, this one here, Hubby bought this two yards of this from Hobby Lobby. It's a champagne color and it's just gorgeous. Um, okay, so I'm going to wait and add that. So let's go ahead and get these layers. adding on here. So I'm going to add this beautiful bow here, right here in the middle. And our layering is going to be on the sides here. You know what? I want to put a piece of lace. I want to put a piece of this because this is gorgeous. Let's cut this off though. That's really pretty. It's starting to rain. Okay, now let's put this one on. Yeah, these would be really pretty with paper. I'm going to have to try it with paper, too. I'm going to be gorgeous. Right there in the middle. It's already pretty. All right, now let's... Um, I know I have some appliques already cut here. And I do have some sequins here, but I think it's the wrong color because my project is more of a cream and white, but I want some tea dyed things in there as well. So I like, I like this to kind of raise it, but this one's a little small, so I'm going to cut Let's see, this here, to kind of raise it up, so probably need three of them, 
looks like. Then we'll need two for the other one. So probably right there. Let's put it right there. Okay. And the other one on the other side. I like the little jingle bells on there. I remember when I was a, a teenager, I would wear the same jingle bell anklet. Okay, so that's so pretty so far. So let's keep adding on things here. I kind of like this mesh off of here. I think I'm going to cut some of it. It's a little too big. So much fun. All right, so I cut some more lace, tea dyed lace from Jennifer. And we're going to put this on the front here. Actually, maybe we should put it underneath. There we go, so pretty. All right, now let's add this bow. So pretty, I love them so much. right there in the middle. So this one's gonna lay this way. And let's put some lace in it and I would like to use some white lace to kinda lighten it up right there. So let's go ahead and cut two of them. We're only going to put one about over here. All right, so we're not going to put the other one down yet. So let's go ahead and do the sides of these ones. So let's go ahead and put this one here. And we'll go back through and put some other yummy stuff through there. All 
All right, so I put an applique on that side and a piece of lace on top of that. We're gonna go ahead and add our fourth bow here. And this one you wanna kind of put at a slant because this bow here needs to come on this side. So see kind of how the lace just softens up that. So you wanna put, let's go ahead and put this one down at a slant. So it's kind of crisscrossing for your bow right here. So pretty. Okay, and I really like the shabby of the bow, so I don't really want to put anything on the outside like this one. I just think it's so pretty like that. But I will put a piece of lace here. Let me see. Right on top there. Need to cut some of this off. This one you kind of want to put at an angle too. Okay. <clears throat> so, but underneath this one, I want to raise it up again, but I think I'm going to use a little tiny sequenced leaf. So maybe I'll put this one like right here. Except you really can't see it, can you? How about I bring it down here like this? Yeah, that looks better. Let me add more glue. So pretty. And then I th I'm going to get another one of these leaves. And yeah, that looks pretty. So cute. All right, so I moved these appliques out where you could see them. I had them pushed in too far and then I added some lace trim on the side of the big one here. And now we're going to Put the doily on the back. So before we put the doily on the back, let's add the ribbon through the holes. So 
So all I did was add the ribbon through the holes. I'm going to do this one different than I did this one. You only need one um, ribbon. And then we're going to glue it to the back of this right here and then it'll be ready to tie. So that will be a little bit easier. I'm going to use this glue. Alright, so I glued on the doily and here's the tie. Let's see. Should have made it a little more even, but that's okay. And then I added the pearls to the back of the doily as well and just draped them down. So here is the bow so far. So pretty and shabby. So lacy and just pretty. So let's put a center in here and I'm going to need to use my other glue. And let me see here. You could add in a lot more lace if you want to. And I might. I might put some more applique through here. But I just wanted to do this with you all today. So I was thinking to put this in because it'll match really well with the project. See how pretty that is? So I think I'm going to put that one in there. I was going to do silver, but I like the gold better. So let's add that one to it. Now this will take overnight to dry. See how pretty that is? So much fun. Like I said, you could do this easily with paper. And you can keep adding to it. And it'll be so much fun when you do it. So, so pretty. So this is going to tie on the front of my next project. So here is the purse. I'll be putting the lookbook, lace lookbook in. So once that tassel is dry, I will tie it to the handle. So this is what it's going to look like here. So I'll tie it on like that. So I hope that you like that and I hope that you give this little idea a try. I'll, I'm going to try and tie this on real quick just to kind of give you an idea. So in this vintage bag here, it's handmade. And I bought it off a of sale. And it is vintage. I think there's a tag in here. Handmade in Hong Kong. And there's silk in there. So I'm going to put a little vintage lace lookbook inside. And then I'll make a, a larger journal as well to go with it. So that'll be my cozy cashmere project if y'all are interested in it. This, <laughs> The beaded bag is pretty heavy. It's so pretty though. But see, that'll go on there. So this one will probably go on to the lookbook maybe. So that'll be really pretty. So I hope that you like this uh, idea and give this a try. Make sure you go to 
Jennifer's had a trace of sparkle and download her cozy cashmere digital. They're so fun and beautiful to play with. And I hope that you all have a lovely week and thank you for watching this video. I appreciate each and every one of you and I will see you soon. Bye.